The Brian Mudd Show is on News Radio 610 WIOD. About this whole IRS saga, what's real? What isn't? Well, here to tell us a little bit about what's happening in real time and what you might expect when you file, Carlos Seminego with Tax Debt Consultants and the website taxdebtconsultant.com. Carlos, thanks for joining us. Thank you. I'm glad to be here, Brian. All right, so what is the lay of the land right now? Is it as messy of a start to tax season as we've been warned it might be? Hey, Brian, it's actually probably worse. Um, um, we truly feel, especially uh, thousands of us um, in the tax industry feel, the IRS feels broken right now. You know, right now they have literally just reported a few weeks ago over 24 million unprocessed tax returns that's happened over the last couple of years. Can you imagine 24 million unprocessed tax returns? It's just crazy. Um, and, and the other big one, Brian, that I, I rec- that we recently heard, last year the IRS had over 100 million phone calls and 75 million phone calls had not even been answered. That's, called that's a, a nightmare that I've heard from a number. Of li- yeah, yeah, no, it's a good point. And that's, a, that, that's something I heard a lot. Uh, last year in particular, yeah. that the calls were not getting answered, to your point. Uh, so, Carlos, I mean, yeah, coming into the uh-huh. season, that was, you mentioned all of the unresolved issues from p- past tax years. I mean, that was kind yeah. of alarming. What's the main cause of that? Is that because of the IRS not getting the job yeah. done and the staffing issues, what have you? Or is this a byproduct of, of people and, and their own issues with filing? Um, it, no, it's it's kind of what you said earlier. It's a byproduct of the whole pandemic situation. You know, a lot of people don't realize that the vast majority of the IRS agents right now are working from home. So they don't even have the ability when you're mailing in these returns, a lot of these returns were just being stored in storage houses and storage trucks. So no kidding. can you imagine? You, you, say that again? I say, yeah, no kidding. I mean, that, I didn't realize that. That is really eye-opening. You know, and, and, and yeah, it's interesting. Can you imagine all this mail is just piling up? I mean, there's ma- returns, there's checks in there. They're all being piled up. Uh, wow. And you're, we're, we as professionals, we're talking to IRS agents, and even if a consumer does actually make it through to an IRS employee, most of the time they're actually working from home, and on occasion you're, you're going to hear a baby crying uh, in the background because it's just a broken system. And part of this, too, is just the lack of funding. They're not getting the funding that they need to hire people. In fact, the IRS commissioner recently said that they wanted to hire 5,000 people to help with this. And as of a few weeks ago, they hired less than 200 to help with this. So, Carlos, it sounds like the experience is often a lot different for those that are e-filing versus those that are still mailing those, those returns in. You, you know what, Brian? Actually, the worst thing you could possibly um, do is mail anything to uh, to the IRS. Um, you know, you need an e-file. Bottom line, that is really the only way to do it. Now, there are occasions if you have returns that are older than three years that hadn't been filed, they have to be mailed. And if you're going to mail something to the IRS nowadays, guys, you have to. Uh, you literally have to send it certified mail. So you at least have proof that you actually sent it. Otherwise, the IRS can say you never sent it. And how much concern might there be about identity theft, things along those lines, especially if we have all the this paper with all of our identifiable information just being stored somewhere for some indeterminate amount of time? Uh, exactly. Uh, actually, the IRS, uh, um, identity theft is a big issue. Um, it's a big issue that the IRS is really concerned about. In fact, many of these returns that are taking m- months, if not years, to process have are are, de- are are a problem because of the potential identity theft. In fact, I recently had a client that had an $8,000 refund from four years ago that the IRS hadn't even released to her because they thought there was identity theft. And the IRS didn't notify her. I happened to see um, her IRS transcripts and notice that there was money sitting there and was able to let them know that, hey, you owe her money. We cleared up the identity theft issue and then she got her money. So identity theft is a big issue. Wow, no kidding. That's a heck of a story. So, Carlos, what is the average turn time for those that are e-filing, and is there any guidance on what that's looked like for people that did mail their their returns in? Yeah, 
if you e-file and if there's no issues and everything's kind of matching up the way it should should be, typically you're going to see within two to four weeks max um, on an e-filed return, uh, assuming no issues. Now, if you mail a return, right now the IRS says, is literally saying it can be anywhere from 10 months. We're saying uh, we as professionals out here are seeing more like 18 months to get a return processed. It's stunning. That is absolutely stunning. Well, Carlos, thank you so much for taking the time and and sharing the information. I think that's really helpful. Sounds good. I appreciate the opportunity, Brian. Take care.